Most tax scams have one thing in common, reporting too little in income. But there's one scam I learned years ago from a revenue officer who was a friend of mine. Now that he's retired, I can tell you about it. Not because I want you to do this. Oh, it is most certainly a violation of US law and could put you in prison for many years if you get caught. Yet it's one of those things the government doesn't want you to know as it reveals a significant lack of control over something they pretend is well administered. A lack of control that is entirely foreseeable when you take something as complicated as US tax code and combine it with our very expansive federal laws that it must interact with. So now let's get to the scam. Now this is the one you're never gonna do, okay? But let's suppose you're 58 years old and you haven't reported a lot of income your entire career and you start thinking about your social security benefits. You got your most recent statement from the Social Security Administration and you see that your retirement looks like it's gonna be kind of low. Your future income looks to be both very fixed and very low. And this saddens you. You wanna get the maximum social security benefit, but based on your contributions, you will get the least. Now let us suppose that you know that if you contributed the maximum for 40 quarters or 10 years, that you know you would qualify for the maximum social security benefit. And now let us suppose you're both cavalier with the truth and your own freedom, so you file 10 years of tax returns with a Schedule SE filled out showing that you owe the maximum and self-employment tax, and this is the key, self-employment taxes are where your social security taxes are calculated. So now even though these 10 returns show a ton of income and a ton of taxes you owe, you file them anyway. You file them anyway because you know that once the returns are filed, as long as they are not examined by an IRS examiner or another investigator, you know they'll be processed. And the 10 year statute of limitations on collecting of IRS debts will begin to run. And you know that if you just lay low for a bit, the IRS will eventually give up looking for you unless you give them a reason to look for you and your tax debt will expire. So now that you're 68 and you, you no longer owe the IRS anything and based on your contribution you said you made, you're now entitled to the maximum social security benefit allowed by law for the rest of your life. The government doesn't check to see if what you said you paid in was actually paid in. Now this scam is brilliant as it takes advantage of the fact that the IRS is a collector of social security taxes. Because if you think about it, isn't that weird? Shouldn't the Social Security Administration, there is one after all, be in charge of collecting social security payments? But no, they don't want to do it. They don't want to be as hated as the IRS. So they dump this responsibly off to them. And you know, the IRS winds up doing a lot, a lot of dirty work for a lot of other agencies. The IRS has Medicare, and don't forget Obamacare, which puts the IRS in the middle of your health care, and also the Bank Secrecy Act as well. The IRS responsibilities just don't include the administering the federal income tax, which is the most complicated thing in the history of history, but also your health, retirement, and banking. The IRS would have enough to do if all they had to do was worry about taxes. Yet Congress thinks the IRS can do anything with any budget. And as this scam shows, clearly the IRS cannot. And who knows how much of your money the Social Security is paying out that it shouldn't. So maybe we should just have the IRS be the tax people. Is that too much to ask? So do you agree? Can you think of any other non-tax duty the IRS is bogged down with? Can you think of any other scams one could pull off because the IRS is stretched way too thin with way too many responsibilities? Leave them in the comments below. Now we just finished our October 2019 tax season. Wow, tax reform was not nice to international taxation. So we're going to be updating our Form 5471 series. A lot of small things can be quite consequential. And yes, fellow tax nerds, there is now a category one filer. Isn't that exciting? Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything important. This is Anthony Parent of IRS Medic and I thank you for watching.